Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I wanted to really quickly, before I get into my story for, jeez. <laughs> before I get into my story for today, at the end of this video, I'm going to have the winners of my raffle. I did the raffle. To see if you're a winner, please wait till the end of the video. Don't scroll ahead. Just, just wait to the end. This video is not that long. I'm gonna try not to keep it long. <laughs> There's gonna be an eclipse going right over my state. So if you wanna check it out with me, not looking directly at it, but just, you know, being around with me during the eclipse, I will be doing a live that day. That's the plan. Um, and what else? Okay, so, 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 we are talking about why it is so important to be the voice, to be the voice for the palace. And to look at how we can see, even in real time with Harry and Meghan, how they are having their voices heard and even how they are essentially, essentially, I would say, uh, being the trolls to the royals after everything that they have done with the documentaries, the book and all of that, they still have their mouthpieces, their mouthpieces of people out there doing the trolling for them. And it's even been alleged that Megan pays these people. So, yeah, the voices of the people that talk on behalf of Catherine and the royal family, our voices are so important to be heard. And we're going to talk about why, because, yeah, it gets really nasty with certain people who are out to do harm to the royal family. And I believe Harry and Megan are behind it. Yeah. So let's get into it. So today I've been drinking my cup of coffee with my lovely princess uh, Diana mug. Uh, I got this when I was over in England and I uh, bought me some souvenirs and this is one of them. My lovely Diana mug. Diana's everywhere. She's been in my life since I was a little girl. But anyway. Okay, so what are we talking about today? Today. Oh, this. My goodness. Okay. So there is this, we know that there, we know that there is this guy named Christopher Boozy and he was even in the documentary of Harry and Meghan's Netflix uh, mockumentary, what they did. He spoke within that documentary. He was their mouthpiece. He tried to legitimize things around race and the trolls and all the things that were being done and said about Harry and Meghan. He was the voice of reason. OK, however, there are some things that he's doing that really shows he's not really someone that should be looked at with this great authority and voice of reason who tries to make things seem like Harry and Meghan are the true victims because they're not the victims. They're not. <laughs> if anything, they are everything but the victims. So he has Christopher Boozy. He launched his own software company in 2018 called Bot Sentinel to help people identify and authentic social media accounts and toxic trolls. OK, he did this to identify such people while at the same time being these kind of people to the royals. I mean, you go figure. It's like, really? For real? For real? Side eye. Yeah, I'm like looking at the side eye with him. You can't be for real. Side eye. <laughs> like my sidekicks, my sidekick Otis. OK, so he is still on the hunt. It's they're saying he might want to look in the mirror. So there's been this really big uh, article done about him. And I think it warrants looking at it because it legitimizes the things that are being said about this man. His own recent social media outpours outpourings over the dark conspiracy swirling around the royal family certainly certainly does count for misinformation okay so he's saying things that are not even factual while at the same time trying to appear to appear like he is factual and my concern is for, for people who hear and see this man and think he's legitimate they fall for it and they they don't really understand that he is working for Harry and Meghan. It was even in court documents that Meghan had hired him to do work for her around the 
the trolls that harass her. There was a lawsuit, big lawsuit. You can go find the paperwork. Okay, so as for online harassment about endless commenting on the Princess of Wales, her changing weight, accusing her of lying when she um, said she badly photoshopped this Mother's Day image with her children and even seemingly attacking her Friday video announcing and revealing the cancer diagno diagnosis as akin to North Korean propaganda. Now, this is the same woman that he once said on X was aging as fast as bananas and married to a man who looks like a balding Muppet. Now, if you are going to be somebody that is the mouthpiece for someone that is supposed to be royalty or someone that you are speaking on behalf of, why would you say such nasty things like this? And if you are saying these things, the people that are hiring you, that are helping you need to come out and say, I'm sorry, I do not approve of what this man is saying. And the silence behind Harry and Meghan's voice when they know that this man is saying very nasty and vile things says that they definitely are behind the acceptance of this man Boozy saying these things because they're not saying anything against it. If I had hired someone to do some work for me that was around my life as a royal and then someone is bashing my in-laws, I'm certainly going to come out and say I do not approve of what he is saying. And Harry and Meghan not coming out and denouncing this this man's words i think i think it says a lot really quickly i want to tell you about my sponsor for today's video june's journey now as you all know i love this game love playing this game with the hidden mystery objects finding things keeping my brain sharp delving myself into a whole new world from the 1920s for me i love playing this game when i give myself my me time time to relax do something fun and puts me into a whole new world and you can also find different clues that will help you find things to help you solve the murder of June's sister so go ahead and download June's journey today click the link below in the description or use my QR code right here June's journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices as well as through Facebook games so go ahead, download the app today and let me know what you think. Now back to our story. Indeed, there's a deep irony in the fact that the notoriously combative Boozy is a self-proclaimed expert on social media monitoring and the evils of online misbehavior. In fact, one might wonder whether appearing on the Sussex's infamous 2022 Netflix documentary to complain that Meghan Markle was the target of hatred, he might now be suffering from a serious case of double standards when it comes to the Princess of Wales. Absolutely, you devalue your own credibility when you come out and you say these things about the Princess of Wales, okay? I mean, I would never think it's okay to even come out and say these things about Meghan and Harry, like to, to mock their looks in a way that is trolling and mis just be mean and nasty about the way someone looks is never okay to do and you won't ever find me doing that i do not make fun of the way people look period i think it's not okay you're born with what you're born with and that's a self-conscious thing and even if it's just made up it's like why would you make fun of someone's looks so he's launched this this twitter alternative called spoutable and he's been backpedaling um around Kate's cancer announcement recently um, not apologizing but backpedaling like oh I said that I'm sorry <laughs> or I'm not sorry but I said that <laughs> kind of a thing you know you just you don't really come out and apologize kind of like what the late night talk show Robert I mean Colbert did he didn't come out and say he was sorry for trolling uh, the Princess of Wales he just said I would never want to come out and just make fun of someone who was suffering like his whole announcement was not even like why even say anything when you didn't even apologize Celebrities and commentators ranging from actress Blake Lively and left-wing guardian um, Owen Jones, who mocked the princess in the days before her announcement, have done the right thing and they've issued apologies. But not Boozy. He's not going to apologize. He insists he has nothing to apologize for because he claims he hasn't done anything wrong by Kate. Oh, really? For real? For real, Boozy? You haven't done anything wrong? That's a lie. 
That's a lie. <laughs> if I ain't heard a lie, that's a lie. Because you certainly have. I just read some of your tweets. And we know those were your tweets. I remember reading them when, when it happened. So Boozy believes he's doing all us all a service, uncovering devious establishment conspiracy he alleges has been cooked up by the palace and the media to conceal the fact that Kate hasn't really been in the public for months. Well, in a long social media message on Sunday, Boozy said that he knows what it is like to watch a loved one battling cancer and having seen his mother succumb to the disease during COVID. In his righteous indignation at the Sussex's two great enemies, he must have forgotten that in the hours after Kate's announcement, he wrote that the palace that Prince William threw his wife under the bus and failed to give her moral support. And how would you know that? How would you know that his her husband did not give her moral support? I mean, just coming out and saying that shows you speaking out the side of your face because you're saying something that you don't have information on. You don't know what happened behind the scenes. You don't know that Catherine maybe said, let me do it myself. But yet he was there with her. I mean, really, it's just laughable that William is not giving his wife moral support. That's just trying to put mis disinformation out there, in my opinion. You're just putting information out there to not even sound legitimate and things that are a lie. For the record, he believes all the recent photos and videos of the princess, apart from the cancer announcement, have been faked for nefarious reasons that aren't quite clear. OK, OK, so this is the thing about Boozy that I think is is what is really, I think, the most disingenuous thing from them all, because in 2021, his company bought Sentinel. Uh, it got a lot of publicity when it investigated the source of the online slurs that were aimed at Harry and Meghan during their Netflix documentary saying that 70 percent of the hate content was targeting the couple uh, came from 83 Twitter accounts. Boozy claimed that there was no obvious motive for the supposed coordinated anti Megan campaign, but suggested that it was racism. Racism. OK, he repeated these claims in the couple's Netflix documentary the following year. So last year, Boozy's credibility took yet another hit when research by the message MIT found that bot, bot direction tools, including bot signal actually do a pretty poor job as they rely on flawed data. Now, if MIT is coming out and saying that you, that you relied on flawed data, that right there just debunks what you said in the Harry and Meghan mockumentary about there being racism. And you know he is skewing the data to suit his narrative. He is not a legitimate researcher. He is not someone that you can count on for information that's going to the way the information credibly to give you an accurate picture of what it is that they're talking about. And so everything that he said in that mockumentary, the Netflix documentary with Harry and Meghan was made up lies. It was not the truth. It was trying to get information from certain accounts that, in my opinion, he created. Yeah, I believe he created a lot of the issues that he complained about because he wanted something to look like racism. When we all know the majority of the issues that people have with Megan is not her race. My goodness, people didn't even know the woman was black. So you cannot tell me that people are trolling this woman around racism. They're trolling her because of her character and her lack of sympathy and how she treats her own family. But they want to bring up the racist narrative. They want to be victims. And I believe Harry and Meghan wanted to use someone like a boozy to fit their narrative because they needed somebody to make up data, which MIT has shown he uses flawed data. But Harry and Meghan want to try to look credible and have someone look like they know what they're talking about when clearly this boozy guy does not. However, according to Boozy, while attacks of the Duchess of Sussex are never OK, he never thinks it's OK to attack Megan for her character, her 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 way of treating people like crap. He he, he always thinks when people attack her is rooted in racism. But then what do you call it when I say something and I'm black and I've been attacked for my race because you can tell I'm a black woman. Right. You can clearly see that. Right. He's, you know, attacks on the Wells is in particular Kate are seemingly fair game. 
it just lowers the credibility yet once again. He goes on to say in one of his posts, a woman of color protecting her family and defending herself is a narcissism, is survival, he said. He, uh, her only offense, he said, was having to defend herself while being black. You know what? You need to just go somewhere with your nonsense, boozy. That woman has never claimed to be black. She never wanted to be black, nor did she ever want to make her appearance look black when she became a woman who could control her image. Her image was always the go-to. I want to be white. Let me, let me straighten out my curly kinks. Let me straighten out my curly kinks because I want to look white. I'm going to say I'm white on my resume. Oh, really, Boozy? So this is a woman who is defending herself while being black. Really? Side eye. This woman does not want to be black. Period. And nor does she even look black. So you putting out such nonsense just makes you look so not credible. Because even black people will look at Megan and say, she's defending herself while being black? Well, where the black at? <laughs> I don't see no black. Where's, where's the black at in that woman? Her hair don't look black. Her skin don't look black. Nothing about her look black to me. So you're just saying things because you want to be friends. You want to be friends with Megan and Harry. You want to be their mouthpiece. Well, this is why the voice of people like myself and other YouTubers are so important because we need to be the mouthpieces for the royal family. We need to be the mouthpieces that are protecting the Welleses from the attacks of people like Boozy and others who want to come out in social media and say horrible things about the Prince and Princess of Wales when they're out doing really good work. And we need to be the ones that voice our disdain for the lies that are coming out behind the mouthpieces of Harry and Meghan. And until Harry and Meghan become the, the people that will denounce hate regardless if Meghan thinks it's for her or if it's from the Princess of Wales, you do not support it. And if you say nothing, it means you're supporting it. And even more so, if you use them in a documentary to get across your point, you're supporting the things that this person says. So until you come out and denounce it, Harry and Meghan, the things are here that this Christopher Boozy has done, you support it. And as long as you're going to support people that bat mouth the Waleses and to say nasty things and to come out with flawed data against this couple and the institution, then the voices of the royals, the voices of the people like myself and other YouTubers that speak on behalf of the work that the Waleses are doing and denounce the character and the misinformation that comes out of Harry and Meghan's mouth, we're going to continue doing what we're doing because Harry and Meghan are not vouching for the right thing because they vouch for this boozy guy all right here we go we're going to do the raffle now we got six people who are going to win the bank ski of england 10 pound copy of the bills with princess diana and the first is Linda, Linda Baker Burt. Congratulations. Number one. Okay, here we go. Number two. Number two is Lori Henry. Congratulations. Congratulations. Winner number two. Congratulations. Okay, number four. Number four is Joanne Tyler. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, number five. Is Raymond Wright? Congratulations! 
prizes. You are a winner. And our last person for the raffle is... Who is it? Who is it? Charlene Armstrong. Okay, congratulations to all the winners and thanks everyone who participated. I'll do more of these. Thanks so much for being a part of this raffle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.